I think when you're young, people just tell you it gets better. And that's very easy to say. But it's okay to demand that things be better when right now, uh, where you are and how your life is now. It's okay to say this is not okay. I want to say it's the three scariest words that every man receives in his lifetime. And the phrase is to be a man. So I set up a very simple website called the Everyday Sexism Project. 50,000 women from all over the world added their stories in 18 months. Gender violence issues, they've been seen as women's issues that some good men help out with. But I have a problem with that frame and I don't accept it. I don't see these as women's issues that some good men help out with. In fact, I'm going to argue that these are men's issues. So I write about girls and women every day. I write about gender and culture. And I wrote about public space and gender. And I said that equal-sized bathrooms with stalls do not serve people the way they should. I thought maybe public space should serve everybody equally. And for the next week, many, many, many irate people told me how to stand and urinate like a man. The man box. All the ingredients of how we define what it means to be a man. The man box. That is, be tough. Be in control. Keep your emotions in check and stay away from any behavior deemed feminine. Well, I'm here today to tell you why sexism and misogyny affects everybody, regardless of your gender. The first time, the first time in our nation's history that a woman will be a major party's nominee. Hey. We have a pretty good idea of some of the major ways that sexism negatively affects women today. Thankfully, the media is talking about it, but what they don't talk about as much is the ways that sexism affects men. The employee claimed women were not biologically fit for tech jobs because they show higher interest in people over things, are too cooperative, are more prone to anxiety, and want work-life balance. There's more than one way to be a man or a woman. We all have a combination of feminine and masculine traits. It's part of being human. Let's teach boys and girls to value equality, respect, non-violence, instead of power, dominance, and aggression. Understanding how these inequalities and attitudes permeate our society and working to correct them is in the best interest of everyone. Boys deserve more than boys will be boys. I dream of a day where men and women and people of all different genders and orientations feel safe to be themselves. We dream of a day when the word masculinity becomes the plural masculinities and men and boys feel supported to be the men they want to be. Thanks so much.